welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy math which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today we are going to solve questions which were asked in acc 125 gmat of last year which is 2021 okay so all of these questions were asked in the paper only this question was not asked this is something which i have made to get you an hang of how to solve this kind of a question okay so very quickly let's start with this one okay so over here see students you have to do these things orally okay once you get to do this orally you will be able to solve these kind of questions very very quickly in matter of seconds okay so the question over here is root of 59 plus root of 16 plus root of 81 so anyone wondering how to start with it you start with the innermost root okay like how you do in board mass you start with the innermost bracket that is how you are going to solve over here. You are starting with the innermost root. So you have what? Root of 81 is going to get you what? 9. And 9 plus 16 is going to get you what? 25. Now square root of 25 is going to get you what? 5. So when you add 59 plus 5, you are getting what? 64. And that is still under one more square root. So your answer over here is going to be 8. Okay. Now, See, if you have, if you think this is difficult, just take a pause, try, take a pen and paper and you can solve it. Okay, and those of you who have understood, please try to solve this one on your own. Trust me, it is super simple. So now you have what, root of 225 is what, 15. When you add 15 over here, we get what, 169. And root of 169 is what, 13. When you add 13 over here, we get what, 121. So root of 121 is what, 11. When you add over here, we get what? 36. And root of that is going to get you what? 6. So when you add 10 plus 6, you get 16. And 16 ka root is 4. So answer is option A. Students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, students, do not forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers will be mentioned in the comment section. You can mention your answers in the comment section. I will definitely tell you whether you are right or wrong. Okay. So now over here, we have what? 55. Now root of 225, we know already it is 15 upon 25. So now this can be written as what? 5 11s and 5 5s are. 5 1s are and 5 3s are. So 11 into 3 is what? 33. It is super simple. You should not have wasted even more than 10 seconds to solve this kind of a question. Okay. Please understand here in these kind of entrances, your entire game will rely on what? How much time you are taking to solve each of these questions. Because these are simple. It is not something that which is rocket science or something which is which needs a lot of understanding of mathematics. Okay. Here you have to have to be very quick with your calculations and your techniques. Okay. So the next one we have what 5525 5, 5 upon 17 the whole square. Very simple. First we will cancel this. Now since, since 17 is a prime number we will have to directly do this division over here. So when I am cancelling this I will write on over here. So we have 3. So basically 51 taken from 55. By 51 17 into 3 is going to get you 51. So 51 taken from 55 you will get what you are left with 4 and 42. So now 17 into 2 is how much? 34 so when you take 34 out of uh, 42 you are left with 8 so you have taken 2 and then 85 so 17 into 5 is 85 now please understand a lot of students get scared when it happens that you have to take a three digit square okay trust me it is super simple all you have to do is you can write this as nothing but 300 plus 25 the whole square right so what is 300 square? We'll write down. It is 90,000. And what is 25 square? Which is what? 625. Okay. Now what is one more thing which you will do? See basically this is what expansion of A square, B square and over here we'll write 2 into A into B. So what is what? 300 into 25 into 2. So 25 into 2 is how much? 50. 50 into 300 will get you what? 15,000. So your answer is 5, 2, 6, 5 and 1, 0 sorry, 1, 0, 5, 6, 2, 5. So option C is your answer. Now students, take a moment. Uh, so that now let's try and solve few more questions. So here what we have over here is the question is 
3.14 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 gives us what? Now understand 3.14, see this is for people who are like a bit confused when it comes to decimals. So 3.14 can be written as 314 upon 100 and this is raised to 10 raised to 6. So these two zeros will cancel and you will reduce this power of 6 by 2. So 6 minus 2 will get you 4. So now you have 314 multiplied by 10 raised to 4. So basically your answer will have 314 and 4 zeros ahead of it. Okay. So here your option D is your answer. Students, a lot of you all have asked me what kind of books to refer when it comes to quantitative exams. Okay. So I have put up links of those books in the description and I also recommend a Vedic math book which is super simple and which will be really really helpful for all of you all to practice your calculation speeds. So if you want those books are available on Amazon you can definitely go and check them out. Uh, this is something which will be really beneficial for all of you and people in your family as well. Okay. So now over here we have 0 0.0064 into 10 raised to 8. Now let's do this orally. When you remove the decimal, we have 64 upon 10,000, right? Because we have how many digits after decimal? We have 4 digits. So 64 upon 10,000 and we have 10 raised to 8. So basically 10,000 has how many zeros? 4. So when you take 4 out of 88 over here, why I'm taking? Because it's in the denominator, okay? And if I shift it on the top, it will become what? 10 raised to minus 4. So when I reduce 8 by 4, I am left with 4 more. So you are going to have the final answer as 64 and which is followed by 4 zeros. So that is going to be your final answer. So now time for your DIY. I want all of you all, let me change the pen. I want all of you all to definitely give this question a try the question is root of 17 which is added by root of 53 which is added to root of 121 this is your DIY I am not giving you any options because this is super simple solve it orally while you are watching this video and definitely let me know your answers in the comment section students I keep uh, experimenting with uh, you know solving lot of past previous years paper but if there is any particular exam whose previous year paper you are not able to solve or you want me to solve then please definitely let me know so in the comment section because uh, this is something which I feel all of you should have a basic understanding while preparing for these entrances. Any entrance you prepare you need to know how the paper format is, what kind of questions, what kind of difficulty level it is. So in case you are having difficulty solving previous year question paper or you are not able to find those questions please let me know so in the comment section i will definitely try to solve them for you okay bye for now see you in the next video